in the labor sector, which skills will be prioritized the most in the next few years? I think that this is a really interesting topic of discussion in addition to some general things that I've been mentioning about the labor sector because it seems like with an environment that is moving as fast and changing constantly as fast as the labor sector is, it kind of makes it really difficult to anticipate whether certain disciplines or areas, say, or parts of the tech sector, they would still end up being valuable in the long run. And I think, for instance, it's not at all surprising, say, for instance, like how I've alluded to and discussed in my other types of videos, how data science and computational biology, it's really witnessed a very slowing demand in growth of demand and pretty much probably even negative demand at that within the current labor sector. At first, when you know I was learning about things about genomics and those types of areas, when I had taken uh, one of those classes in my senior year in college, you know, in the in the last semester right before graduation, I thought that that was a really great way to you know maybe cross over a little bit more into a, a more applied area from some of the pure math that I've been doing, in which you pretty much use principles from statistics to be able to look at different types of characteristics of genes within a population of genes in determining how these nodes could maybe regulate or end up impacting or infecting a lot of behavior amongst all of the other nodes in the network. And now that, you know, it seems that a lot of things have changed with regards to what is actually being prioritized in terms of the biotech industry, it's kind of happening in every type of niche of the tech industry, because even like I mentioned, Ford, Ford's decision some time back to lay off a thousand software engineers and pretty much changing its direction in terms of its competition with Tesla, which had made so much profit off of the software enabled capabilities of its vehicles through like machine learning, deep vision or uh, deep learning and computer vision. It really just demonstrates how it's very difficult for one type of company to maybe follow suit or follow a similar commercial trajectory that worked out for Tesla, because even if Ford was, or, you know, even General Motors or any of those American legacy automakers, they were continuing to, you know, bring out or, you know, produce uh, new prototypes for electric vehicles. It doesn't really, it, you know, indicate something that they actually feel could be a worthwhile commercial pursuit, given their revisions and the changes in their financial projections that they've been making for these types of, you know, EV projects, you know, because even Tesla, um, even Tesla, uh, it had, you know, decided to maybe make changes to whatever uh, plans it had originally introduced, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, from what it had uh, previously decided to manufacture. And it just really goes to show as to what is this changing demand environment and how does it actually end up reflecting which types of skills companies are likely to prioritize in the next couple of years from this point in time.